Two clicks. No code. Real structured data in seconds. Sounds too good to be real, right? Well, that's exactly what Thunderbit promises. And today I'm going to walk you through how it works, test it on different sites, even PDFs, and then tell you if it's worth adding to your workflow. Stick around because what happens with PDFs later in this video will surprise you. Just go to the link in the description, install Thunderbit from the Chrome Web Store, hit Add to Chrome, and you're done. The icon shows up on top, click it, and the scraper opens instantly. So, let's start simple. What exactly is Thunderbit? Think of it as your AI-powered Chrome extension built for busy professionals. Now, scraping usually sounds complicated. Coding, selectors, page structures, it's a whole mess. But here, you just type in what you want in plain English, name the columns, and it grabs it for you. The whole point is to make something boring and technical into something anyone can do. And let me tell you, that's a game changer. But okay, promises are easy to make. What happens when we actually put it to the test? So let's actually try this out together. Say we're on Reuters' main page. First, make sure you've got the Thunderbit extension installed and pinned up top in your browser so it's easy to click. Once you hit the icon, a small window pops up. Inside, you'll see three simple tabs. Current page, paste URLs, and file or image. Those are basically your three ways to scrape with Thunderbit. Now here's the cool part. Down below, you can either pick a ready-made scraper template, or, if you're starting fresh, just click the new scraper template. From there, hit A. I suggest fields and watch the magic happen. The AI scans the page and instantly gives you a list of fields that make sense. Headlines, publication dates, categories, article summaries, and even images. If something feels off, just tweak or delete it. Then click scrape and boom, the data fills up in seconds. For example, scraping Reuters homepage gave me 74 clean rows of data right away. Everything's there. URLs, titles, dates, blurbs, categories, images, all structured in a neat little table you can work with immediately. No messy copy-paste, no headaches, just two clicks and done. Cool, it handles news data easily, but what most people really need is product data. Let's take Amazon, for example. Say you run a small shop selling digital watches. You search for digital watches for men and instantly get hundreds of results. Now, to stay competitive, you need product names, prices, ratings, and reviews, all in one place, instead of copy-pasting. You just open the Chrome extension, hit the AI web scraper, create a new scraper template, and click A, I suggest fields. Like magic, it lays out all the info you'd want. Product names, prices, images, ratings, reviews. And since this is e-commerce data, you can even turn on pagination. Just scroll to the bottom, hit the next page button, and Thunderbit keeps going. So instead of scraping one page, now you're pulling 15, 20, however many you need. When I tried it with watches, it downloaded over 200 products in just minutes, complete with names, prices, ratings, review counts, and images. That's data you can actually use to stay on top of the market without burning hours copy-pasting. All right, that's websites. But what about files, like those big chunky PDFs that nobody wants to manually type through? Here's a World Bank development report. Normally pulling metadata like title, publisher, and ISBN is a nightmare. With Thunderbit, I click the extension, upload the PDF, hit AI suggest fields, and it spits out exactly that. Title, year, publisher, ISBN, DOI, all lined up in seconds. And the wild part is that it works even on pretty big documents. That alone makes it a solid tool for students, researchers, or anyone who needs academic or industry reports neatly structured. But let's push it one step further. Can it actually handle images? Yep, upload an image, say, a business card photo or a product catalog scan, and it tries to extract the text into structured columns. Of course, it depends on image quality, but when it works, it's a lifesaver. No more typing names and numbers one by one. And before we get into what makes Thunderbit stand out, just a quick reminder, hit subscribe, drop a like, and join us. More deep dives are coming, and the next one could totally change how you work. All right, let's keep going. Now you're probably wondering, okay, it works, but what makes Thunderbit different from the dozens of scraping tools already out there? Here's the thing, it's beginner friendly, no code, no steep learning curve, no extra fluff. Just the features you actually use. It even has pre-built templates for Amazon and LinkedIn, which are sites people constantly want data from. And everything exports directly to Google Sheets, Airtable, or Notion. So you don't just scrape, you actually integrate that data right into your workflow. Sounds awesome, right? But I've gotta be real with you, it's not all sunshine. Thunderbit won't magically handle every tricky website. Heavy JavaScript pages, paywalls, or infinite scrolls still give it trouble. Sometimes the AI suggests weird fields that you'll want to delete. 
And if you're running scraping at a massive enterprise scale, you'll probably need a custom-built solution. But for everyday business use, sales leads, price tracking, and research, it's more than enough. And now comes the big question, how much does it cost? There's a free tier, and honestly, it's great for testing. You get a limited number of scrapes, but the best part is, you can try out all the full features right away. And when you're ready to upgrade, the pro plan costs about the same as a cup of coffee per day. That small price unlocks way more credits, plus powerful extras like sub-page scraping and bulk extraction, making it a super practical upgrade for anyone serious about data. And if you're part of a bigger team, the business plan has custom limits and priority support. The nice part, no hidden fees. Upgrade when you need more power, scale down if you don't. Super straightforward. So, is Thunderbit worth it? For me, yes, if your job involves grabbing data from the web, whether it's articles, products, or reports, this tool makes it painless. It won't replace heavy-duty scrapers for huge jobs, but for 90% of business cases, it gets the job done without the headache. Here's what I'd suggest. Try the free plan. Run a scrape on a site you actually use, maybe export it to Google Sheets, and see how it fits your workflow. If it clicks, upgrade. Simple as that. And hey, I'd love to know, what would you scrape first with Thunderbit? Drop it in the comments because I might even test some of your ideas in a follow-up video. Also, don't miss my video on MetaGPTX, where I walk you step-by-step -step through building a full website with just a single text prompt. Super simple, one click and you're live. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe to Ninja Tech for such time and cost-saving AI tools update.